guys, so with me in the studio is a recording and performing gospel artist, a vocal coach, and a fashion consultant. Please meet Pretty Eniola. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you look you. really pretty. Thank you. Thank you. I <laughs> Could you briefly tell us um, about yourself, like your background? I grew up in a Christian home. We are four all together, my parents, my elder sister and myself. But I schooled in Lagos, I've been in Lagos all my life. Where are you from? I'm from Edo State. I could quite look well me to precise. Also so oh, you speak your river so well. Yeah, like I have Lagos. All your <laughs> I just love the language. <laughs> what inspired you to start up music? Um, music is a family thing for me personally because Everything in my house sings. Everybody in my house sings. Everything, everybody. She said everything. As in everything. If, if everything could have breath, yeah, you know, yeah, everything yeah. sings in my house. But professionally, it, um, I just knew this was a path for me because my dad was on the path where I couldn't continue. So I just feel like I think this is where I should continue. I had senior, my aunties and all of that wanted to continue, but I just knew it was a thing for me. So why did you decide to go into the gospel music ministry? Of course, many are called, few are chosen, you know? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did a bit of secular yeah. before doing gospel. I tested it and it was not bad anyway, but I just knew I, I had a different, I had a different um, assignment to do in the kingdom of God. Of course, everybody has a choice, but it was more like no choice for me. It was what I had to do. That's how I found myself doing gospel. Okay. Yeah. So, what is your major inspiration when it comes to writing songs and singing? Uh, of course, besides God that lives in us, that inspire. Basically, my experiences and my environment. And because I'm a social person, I talk to people a lot. People experience this too. What set of people does it appeal to? I'm a fusion artist, Afro fusion basically. Fusion is a bit of everything. When you have the jazz, Fuji, Juju, R&B, everything in one, that's fusion. Afro fusion because it's Africa. And um, it's both appealing to the young and the old. You know, it's, it's, it's like bringing the old into the new. So um, what gospel artist would you want to work with? Okay, can you mention some you've worked with? And... I, I, I work with Wale on Okay. I work with Tosin B, work with Bounce Carpenters, okay. work with Lao Lube and Joe, Mike Capto, you know. But I'm looking forward to working with Freke. Freke more. Why? So, why? why? I respect him a lot because he, it, it's not easy doing the fast and the slow together. Yeah. You know, some people are just known for the slows and the fast. I look forward to working with Nathan Obasi. Why? I, yeah. But I look forward to working with Freke because he's doing the fast and the slow then. Talk about that beat. Basically. Yeah. Alright, that's great. So what would you say is the biggest misconception about gospel artists? The, the biggest mis okay. generally. Alright. The biggest misconception is saying gospel artists are poor. And as, as Christians, I believe it's just it's just normal to enjoy the wealth of nations. There, there are even addition because you love God. So the addition between you and the unbeliever is the Jesus factor. So the gospel artist is not poor. Alright, so not just about fashion, for now. because as I can see, you're fashion oriented, <laughs> but you keep rings, you wear glasses. What does fashion really mean to you? For me, fashion is comfortability, okay. fashion is being classy, okay. and fashion is expression. Uh, my sense of style is um, it's in between. I call it in between because it's not, it's not, it doesn't trend. You know, I, I don't follow trends, okay. and I follow trends. My okay. sense of style is expressive because I'm very daring. I, I always like to have colored hair on. I'm very daring and it is classy. Of course, very comfortable. Very comfortable and not revealing because I don't think you have to reveal to be fashionable. Comfortable, basically. So I heard you have a vocal school. Could you tell me something a little about it? Okay, so I've been, I've been teaching vocal lessons even before I study music. I study music in Moson and I'm still studying music in the University of Lagos. Because I really, I really admire artists right now, but then if I sing, you will run your <laughs> So if I want to enroll, how do I go about it? Um, for now, before, of course, I have, um, I have guide, I have outlines, more like a scheme of work. So it depends. There's, there's, there's one month, three months, or six months. Six months is the total package training. If people are enrolled, you can send me a DM on my Instagram, Facebook, mail. Be right back, be right back.
Relationship with God. Trust yes. me. Some of these guys have got, but they're just they're just com in a confused state. That's it. But if I'm gonna feature any secular artist in Nigeria, mm -hmm. I like Olamide. The Yoruba rap thing. It's not yeah. easy to do that. You can't write for people like that. Oh. You can't write some song like that. He is real. And trust me, Olamide is coming to church soon. Amen. Because I Amen. pray for him all the time. Uh, I like to do collaboration right. with Two Face. That's legendary. Everybody loves <laughs> Everybody loves <laughs> So, for ladies, um, if it's Nigeria, I like Shei Shei Sam. I like Omar Miss energy. I like Yemi Alade's energy. So those are the people I... Each of them, okay, you want to work with all of them. You know, no, if I'm, I mean, I mean no, can preach the gospel any, as long as, as loud and as plenty. But I like, I really like Waji's voice. And I know she's a good Christian. I know she's a believer of God's word. And like I said, I'm born, I've learned. So I'm very particular about sound. I walked in the studio, closely with Wale only for about 18 months. So I'm in tune to a particular kind of sound and how music should sound. You don't rush me. So I'm very careful about production because, because of my experience, it's supposed to be global and if you want it good, you can take your time. So the coming out, let me just say easy. Yeah, yeah. My faith, my grace. Find your voice, don't copy. Know what you stand for, know your story. They say you sound crap. Stay there and be consistent and then you don't see. Consistency pays, you can ask me. I back up for almost everybody in this industry. And now I'm on the same platform with such people. So, just be consistent and intelligent. Look at me, I'm very particular about good singing. You can be anointed, but you need to work, you need to rehearse. The music coach, so I'm not the type that tell you, you're anointing, but you need to sing well. You need to work on yourself. And I advise choir, because in choir you can, your self-confidence is built. You back off for a long time, and you need to lead songs for a long time. You're facing a lot of crowd. So I advise choir, join the choirs, it's really key. Were you in choir? Really? Of course, I wasn't in, uh, I'm still in choir. <laughs> I'm still in choir. I still say, yeah. if, you are, if you're a beginner or you're not coming at it, you really, you, you must be mentored. Most people don't want to be mentored, you can't just jump. Yeah, you know, that's true. But you know, there are times where um, you tend to start sounding like your mentor. How do you control that? And that is where you need to find your voice. You, you, you need to pay more attention to yourself. Everybody has been on that level. There was a time I was sounding. I love King Real. I'm crazy, man. Everybody was. So I, there was a time I, I, I can't sing straight. But I need to find my voice. You need to pay more attention to yourself. Watch tickles your fancy way here. Your, your origin. Your pattern. You understand what you can do comfortably without even rehearsing. So you drop your Instagram handle yeah. and Facebook. My Instagram is at Eniola Olusoga. Eniola is E R. N I E O L A O L U S O G A. Facebook is the same thing. E R N I E O L A O L U S O G A. Eniola Lushoga. For Twitter, it's at anythings2. E R N I E S I N G. Anythings2. Thank you.
Can you tell us um, briefly about your salvation story? For me, it was um, it was more it was adventurous for me. I had a heart for God. Everybody believes in God. I love God, but I believe there's time for everything. There's time for church. There's time for life. I was that believer. So I was tilting towards the secular side. And I've been going to church. There's this church I go to where I became born again. Amen, virtual ministries. That's like my home church, my local church, my spiritual father is there. I've been going to the church Sunday in, Sunday out. And I remember I got a deal because I was dancing too. So I got a deal to dance in a music video and to also back off for a particular secular artist. I won't mention his name. It's like two weeks after. That Sunday in church, I don't know, maybe it was, I come out for water calls every Sunday. But that Sunday was just it for me. I think I just got convinced that enough for drama. If it's not God, it's not God. If it is God, it's God. I was tilting, like I said, towards the secular. In fact, I was there already. But that was how, that Sunday in church, I think the message was just for me. And that was the last altar call ever. I think that was sometime in the year 2008 or 9. Yeah. That was so touching. Like, I had those people all over. <laughs> We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, how has it been like? It's not been easy. There are times I'm like, God, have fun. I mean, I'm done doing this. Man. These guys are having fun. I want to have fun. But trust me, there are ways to have fun in Jesus. There are serious ways to have fun. You can see a movie. You can go out with friends. Hanging out is not easy. You hang out at good places, eat good food, you know. So I think I just found. I just found a relationship in God instead of religion. The moment I snapped out of religion, I started enjoying the gospel. So that's that's been it's been a journey of religion first, then relationship. Can you tell us a little about any other of you? Okay, I, I I used to be a serious tomboy. I, I I'm sanguine. I'm I'm, I'm sanguine and choleric. It's temperament. I I'm very playful, but I don't take notes. You don't. You can't walk up to me and tell me something. You look it. You look it. I, I, I shot you. I'll shut you. <laughs> but now you know. Just as ah. Jesus, that's not to just take off people, you know. I, I learned patience in Jesus, you know. Then I learned um, that you can't be a tomboy, you're not a mom. I, I, not like I, I was a tomboy, I was, I was doing all sorts, you know. As in, I was doing all sorts. I have control over certain things, I didn't know stuff. Even when, if you knew me then, when people see me like, I can you Change the world. Wish you guys been having fun with Eniola. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Eniola and you're watching Gospeltainment Show. Alright guys, my name is Lance Jampak and until I come your way next time, it's the Gospeltainment Show. Keeping it keep in the spirit, don't still know it.